Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Outrage at new guidelines that ban three popular items from Americans' diets effective immediately. Every once in a while, the Department of Health and Human Services, as well as the World Cancer Research Fund, release statements regarding the negative effects of certain types of foods on the human body. Some of those reports are recalled warnings while others are warnings to avoid them so as to avoid certain diseases. One of the most recent announcements is regarding bacon, alcohol, and sausage and every American will likely be very unpleased with what their advice is. The Daily Wire reported. A new set of health guidelines, released by the World Cancer Research Fund WCRF, says that people can reduce their risk of cancer about 40% by completely eliminating alcohol, bacon, sausage, fatty meats, and beer from their diets. The recommendations are part of a 10-point plan that the WCRF says can help nearly have your chances of getting cancer, though their guidelines may put a significant dent in your quality of life. The most dangerous meats include any rare or raw red meat, pork, beef, and lamb, specifically, hamburgers and hot dogs, but the WCRF and their European Union colleagues say if you want to stay cancer-free, at least, when it comes to those cancers where genetic disposition isn't a risk factor. You should avoid all but the occasional bacon sandwich or sip of beer. Being obese, they report, raises your chances of getting cancer significantly, and the easiest way to avoid obesity is to eat healthy foods and practice a healthy and active lifestyle. If you can't do that, though, you may need to pursue more extreme measures. The WCRF says their study, which produced the horrifying recommendations, is the largest cancer study ever conducted and involved more than 50 million individuals. 3.5 million of whom were eventually diagnosed with cancer. The result? The WCRF found that no level of intake can confidently be associated with a lack of risk of bowel cancer. The good news, all you meat eaters out there, is that humans don't live forever, anyway, so you can still take your chances. The 10-point plan refers to how you can participate in actions that will avoid giving you cancer. Some of those actions include the following, having a healthy diet, being physically active, eating whole grains and vegetables, limiting the intake of red meats and processed foods, limiting sugar intake, not relying on supplements, and limiting alcohol consumption. Basically, if you eat like a rabbit you are fine and you won't get cancer. Too bad the majority of Americans, and people in the world do not eat like that. Move reported, if you eat red meat, the WCRF says to limit consumption to no more than 3 servings per week, 12 to 18 ounces total for 3 portions. It is not necessary to consume red meat in order to maintain adequate nutritional status. Eating meat is not an essential part of a healthy diet, the study reads. The study, however, is even stricter on the consumption of processed meat. The evidence on processed meat is even more clear-cut, the guidelines read. The data show that no level of intake can confidently be associated with a lack of risk. Meaning, your risk of cancer is increased by eating even the smallest amounts of esophagus meat. Alcohol is also on the do not consume list. It is linked to cancers of the mouth, pharynx, larynx, esophagus, liver, colorectum and breast. There is strong evidence that drinking alcohol is a cause of many cancers, the study's overview reads. Even small amounts of alcoholic drinks can increase the risk of several cancers. Like processed meat, the WCRF says there is no amount of alcohol, even the smallest amount, that does not increase your risk of some cancers. The 10-point guidelines also emphasize the link of obesity to certain cancers. Many of the remaining points in the plan highlight the need to ensure you are not obese, thus preventing some cancers. However, as stated above, red meat, processed meat and alcohol were directly linked to cancer itself, not just to obesity. What seems out of the ordinary is that these new findings are not all that new. It is pretty common knowledge that alcohol, red meats, and processed foods are not good for you. Furthermore, that they should be avoided at all costs and eaten in limited portions. Therefore, it seems odd that the WCRF would release a whole statement and study on the issue on information that is pretty well known to be common knowledge at this point. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.